welcome to ProCAD's PNID tutorials. Watch the entire video or use the on-screen table of contents to skip to a specific topic. Module 1, Creating a New Drawing, covers the following topics. Drawing Manager, Toolbox, Borders, and Basic Settings. Let's begin. These tutorials were created using English units. All ProCAD software products support both English and metric units. Our first topic is the Drawing Manager. Drawing Manager dialog box appears after starting the PNID software. If the dialog box does not appear, simply click on the Drawing Manager tool in the toolbox, and the dialog box will appear. The Drawing Manager allows us to create new files, rename files, delete files, and basic system management. Select the standard that you would like to work with. In this case, we'll use the Twin Lakes project. Click in the drawing area and we can create a new drawing. We can also right click and select new. Enter a file name. Once the drawing is created, we can make copies of it, we can rename it, we can delete it, or we can just open it at any time during the drawing session. We can create another drawing. There is no maximum for the number of drawings created at any one time. Simply click on the file that you would like to work on and the PNID software opens. Our next topic is the toolbox. Let's take a closer look at the PNID toolbox. The toolbox contains a drawing manager as well as all the different tabs and settings for the software. So under the main settings tab, the pipe size, pipe spec can be set under equipment. You can see some of the equipment symbols, the vertical vessels, horizontal vessels, pumps, reboilers, exchangers. Under the miscellaneous equipment, we see turbines, jacketed pipe, cylinders, miscellaneous types of equipment. Under line types, we see the main process lines as well as utility lines and some other line types like dash lines, center lines, and hidden lines. Under the valves tab, all the common valves are shown. Gate valves, globe valves, ball valves, check valves, as well as control valves. Under the miscellaneous valves, we see drain valves, needle valves, all the smaller types of valves. Next is the instrument balloons, all the typical instrumentation balloons from PLCs to discrete balloons are shown here. Three line instrument balloons, this allows for three lines in the instrument balloon. Instrumentation lines shows all the typical instrumentation lines from data link to pneumatic to electric. Instrument equipment, things like orifice flanges, senior runs, displacement tubes, pedo tubes. Under symbols, shows the off-page connectors or continuation arrows for the drawings as well as line descriptors north arrow, some of the basic symbols that you may need. Pipe insulation and insulation and tracing. Under fittings, all of our common fittings that would be shown on a PNID, from our reducers to our nozzles to manways, uh, there's even a grade symbol, a conical strainer, temporary suction strainers, function identifiers, square root extraction, uh, there's even a user defined under bill of materials, shows the bill of material, creating lists, removing a bill of material. Under the utility tab shows some of the basic utilities like the borders, placing borders into our drawing, line numbers, valve tags, equipment tags, some dimensioning tools, the revision cloud, remove block trimming lines, pipe ends, arrowheads, auto arrow. Under the change tab we see some of the functions for making changes, layer changes, some basic changes, sizes, text, dynamic attribute edit. The next topic is borders. Now we'll take a look at adding the border to the drawing. Click on the Utility tab to access the border icon. Select the icon, select the drawing size that you'd like to work with, and select OK. Input the information required for the border, including the drawing title, drawn by, the date, and any other information. Notice there is a Next button to get more information like the drawing number, and the sheet number, and the revision. At any time, you can double-click the border to access the attributes to make changes. Borders can be customized. Take a look at our Standards Manager. 
we have the border settings as well as the file locations for the borders. At any time, you can erase the border and place a new border of a different size. Let's take a look at the basic settings. Under the settings tab, we can set the pipe spec, we can set the pipe size, we can see the existing settings by clicking on the drawing settings. Gives us an overview of what has been set. We can set basic toggles just by turning on and off the toggle for valve tag, valve flanges. There's also a change toggle so that we can adjust all of the settings at once. Things like the valve appearances, valve tagging options. An easier way of setting some of the toggles is shown in the lower left of the toolbox, where we can click on the pull down menus and then select the spec or pipe size, existing line number. If the line number doesn't exist, we can create a new line number by clicking on the line number tab, entering a line number. Line numbers can also be set using the Standards Manager and creating line numbers. Once all the values are set, we are ready to draw. This concludes Module 1. Please review Module 1 or select the next module.